A professor here at the University of Michigan Space Research Center tells us this matters because the iceberg that broke off was helping to hold back glaciers. Now those glaciers could enter the ocean and raise sea levels. It took thousands of years to form and just months to break away. Scientists say the iceberg, which will likely be named A68, broke off the western side of Antarctica between Monday and Wednesday. The process, known as calving, was expected after this crack in the ice made big advances back in January. This crack has been propagating for a while, and it's been going faster and faster and faster. And so it wasn't that surprising that it finally detached. Jeremy Bassis, a U of M professor who specializes in iceberg research, says this iceberg won't raise sea levels by itself. Icebergs that break off, they're already floating, so they don't really cause any sea level rise, but they might affect the rest of the ice shelf. It's that ice shelf that broke away from the Larsen Sea that could now become unstable, releasing a glacier behind it. They're kind of like a cork in the bottle, right? And so once that iceberg is pulled out, then your champagne is squirting out. Scientists with Project Midas, a UK based Antarctic research team, released a statement saying in part they do not believe this event is linked to human induced climate change, but they say sea level rise could happen if that glacier is released into the ocean. Antarctica has been a very stable place for a very long time, but we're starting to see changes that that cause us to question that. So while scientists do not expect this to have any immediate impact on our world climate, you can bet this iceberg and the ice shelf it broke off from will be monitored very closely for decades to come. Reporting from Ann Arbor, Shelley Childer, 7 Action News.